taxi? No. No gracias. Everybody. Gracias is the word of the day. More like the word of the whole week. No, Constantly saying no, thank you is something that you gotta learn how to do out here because if not, you're gonna get pulled out for an $8 little bird whistle. But here we go. It's so fun to go shopping around here. And clothes are actually reasonable. It's a one reasonable price thing out some, here. Some things, some. some things, yes. But you can get your Imperial tank tops. Figure while we walk through Tamarindo, we're gonna talk a little bit about our experiences and tips because this place is definitely not as cheap as it seems. So the funniest story just happened. We were at gas station and our rental car uh, came with a half tank. So we need to fill it back to a half tank. And so me, I like to do the math. I asked for four gallons, which was my mistake. So basically when we turned the car back on, we got no gas. <laughs> they used to put in four liters instead of four gallons, which is hilarious. So now we gotta go back to the gas station. <laughs> but, Fill up the tank again. So out here in Costa Rica, one gallon of gasoline. It's $6.67. $6.67. And then another thing I wanna find. Yeah, let's go. Juana Bana. So I wanna find. Um, so we got to find what I want to find to show you. Fresh. How fun is that? So a little tip, because it's something that I wasn't quite sure of until we got here, is what to do. This is our first time in Costa Rica, and here's what I'd say if we had to do it all over again. Here she is. Here you go. Muchas, Careful, it's full. Muchas gracias. What do you think? So good. I'm waiting for this for a week. <laughs> So what I was saying is come straight to Tamarindo because this is where it's popping. The nightlife, plenty of stuff to do, lots of good food. The beach is beautiful. I'll show you some more of the beach here in a minute, but this is the spot. I would definitely do it again and go just straight to Tamarindo. You might not even need a car if you wanna stay here. You can just walk around, there's plenty of stuff to do. But I would suggest surfing at Playa Grande, because Playa Grande is, that's for sure my favorite beach. It's the best surf spot. The best surf spot. Sand bottom. Sandy, beautiful. How's your coconut? So good, huh? You should get a knife. Well, let's go down here. Go on this side. Uh huh. Oh, hey, little guy. Here we 
we go. Out here you can actually pay in colonus or dollars. Or dollars. Just two dollars to make your life easy. And you won't you won't get change back in US. It'll come back in colonus. So you'll get a mixture of colonus and dollars. What do you think it is? Change. You think it is? Or colonus? Yeah. <laughs> oh no partial full colonus. It's good to just keep your calculator out so you can actually just get a bunch check of it. It's, it's nice to have the Kelowna's because then yeah. it's very simple. Everyone out here loves dollars, so you'll most likely get your change in Kelowna's. Oh my goodness, we gotta go down here. Look at this guy drive, drove on the beach. So, when you take a boat charter a lot of times, you'll get picked up right on the beach. These guys got their... Us. And as you can see, we drive right here on the sand with the four wheel drives to pick it up. Oh, yeah. You want to go up there? Let's go check it out. There very well could be crocs in here. I think that's just a rock. I would love to see a saltwater croc. Not too close, but I'd love to see one. All right, here we go. We're going up on the inside. We're gonna show you one of these uh, parking attendants and you'll see what they're doing here. But basically, you're gonna, you're gonna get sold. Somehow, some way, you'll get sold. Here we go, bird. So it's like these guys right here. Security on all the parking lots. So they pull up a chair and they collect a thousand colonists to watch your car. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you move your car multiple times in a day, it starts to add up. See here. So they'll follow you to your vehicle to make sure they get their money. Anyway, super fun. Don't buy the bird whistles. <laughs> they don't have clean sheets, but if you want an exfoliating massage, like $30 for an hour. So one additional hurdle for US bank accounts, when you go to the local bank, my Bank of America charges $5 every time I swipe. International charge for the rental was $15. But essentially, I paid over $50 in international fees just by using my credit card or my debit card. So keep in mind, it's probably best to pull out cash if you're coming to Costa Rica. US currency is totally fine. Grab a bunch of cash. At the airport, it was $12 for a single transaction. So however much money you wanted, you can pull it out and it would be and it would cost 12 bucks. $242 gave us 100,000 colonists. So 50,000 colonists is about 100 bucks. A few years ago it might have been cheap, but today it is not cheap. We spend 50 to 60 dollars every single meal. And if you're going to be swiping your card every time, they're going to get you for that international I mean, and if you don't drink cerveza, you can probably save a little bit of money. <laughs> but then again, it's like a thousand, twelve hundred colonists for an imperial. The craft beer is closer to six thousand colonists. Yeah, like five thousand colonists, which is like eight to ten dollars. But you can drink cheap if you go grab six packs because you can walk around here and drink. And oh, today, super excited. It is my birthday. 32 cumpleaños and uh, I think it's time for a cold cerveza. We'll celebrate. Let's celebrate. Okay. And this is me 
cerveza de burrito. Uno más, uno más. Yeah, we see him every day. And there's the bird whistles. Those guys have them everywhere. This is Tanto, my trusty steed. He takes me to waterfalls. 